see we are going to learn something very new roman numbers take a look at the textbook you can also see it on the screen this roman number numerals are written using seven letters of the english alphabets all of which represent specific value now you have a small homework that you have to by heart this look at them there are only seven letters of the alphabet but we can form a number of numerals with this so let's see first one is the i or represents 1 or the alphabet v represents 5 the alphabet x represents 10 alphabet l represents 50 alphabet c represents 100 alphabet d represents 500 and alphabet m represents 1000 so only seven letters of the alphabets but we use that to represent all kinds of numbers in roman numerals let's see there are some rules that we have to remember please take a look at the screen rule number one letters are arranged from largest to smallest you can see largest numbers thousand then is 500 then c so in any given numerals if there are there, there will always be largest to smallest we will take examples of each okay the second rule so rules means you have to learn them by heart and remember them always numbers are added to arrive at the value look at the example we are going to write the number 16 so we are going to use the the alphabet x which is having the value of 10 and then we also learned that v has the value of 5 and i has the value of 1 so we are going to use these to form a number 16 so we learned that we are we arrange from largest to smaller so which is the largest x then the next largest is v then is that is equal to 16 that is 10 plus 5 plus 1 that's the second rule the third rule when a number small number is before a large number the smaller number is subtracted from the larger number for example it's given in your textbook itself let's look at it one that is roman letter one which and roman letter five so as you can see roman letter one is smaller than roman letter five so you subtract the roman letter one from five so the answer is four then look at the next example roman letter 1 and roman letter 10 so again we subtract 1 from the 10 so remember this rule when a smaller number is before a larger number we always subtract that smaller number from the larger number look at the note below only 1 10 and 100 can be subtracted only 1 10 and 100 can be subtracted remember the symbols for 1 10 and 100 1 10 and 100 only these can be subtracted come back to the textbook again rule number 4 from 5 and 10 we can subtract 1 from 50 and 100 that we can subtract 10 from 500 and 1000 we can subtract 100 so we can look at those examples 10 and 50 so we minus the smaller number from the bigger number or subtract the smaller number from the bigger number hence we get 50 minus 10 which is 40 the second example on your textbook 10 and 100 so we minus the 10 from the 100 we get 90 again 
we remember the rule number 3 any time there is a small number before a large number then we subtract that small number from the large number all right let's move on to see the other examples there is 100 and then there is 500 so c is smaller than d so we subtract 100 from 500 we get the answer 400 yes and then m is 1000 and c is 100 the alphabet m is having the value of 1000 in roman letters and alphabet c is having the value of 100 so we subtract 100 from 1000 we get the answer 900 all right look at the note important so can we write 99 as 100 minus 1 that is i and then c that means you can minus 1 from the 100 no that's not how the roman letters work so let's see how it works 99 is equal to 90 plus 9 so we go back to our expanded form so once we learn the expanded form this is also easy so how do we write the 90 10 and that is the x which is 10 now value of 10 and then c which is value of 100 so we minus we get the answer 90 now did you understand as we go ahead you will understand more so let's go to rule number 5 it's very important that you learn these rules only then we can understand the chapter better so that's why it's given in red it's very important so please try and buy heart it and try to do a few uh, exercises with it and then it will be clear in your mind rule number five a letter must not be repeated more than three times in a row look at the example on the screen 10 into three times is 30 so then how do we write 40 because you cannot repeat one letter more than three times all right to write 40 then we use x and l l is 50 x is 10 so 10 comes before so i'm sorry the smaller number comes before the larger number then we are going to subtract it so we will subtract 10 from 50 then you get the answer 40 so xl would be 40 let's take an example of 90 we just learned 99 but let's like take an example of 90 as you see on the screen 90 is 100 minus 10 so x c we cannot write 90 as 50 that is l and then four tens because we can only write one letter three times not more than that okay what is the note you have to remember here only one ten hundred and thousand can be repeated five fifty and five hundred cannot be repeated at all so remember those notes and then we will go into the next page which again you have to remember as you by heart it the columns are in page number 70 as you can see on the screen hindu arabic numerals 1 to 10 are given then the second one is roman numerals for one it is one for two it is two ones for three it is three ones remember the rule we can't use that same letter more than three times so for four it will be different let's see how it is one and five the symbol v which stands for five so now we go back to the rule number three which says when there is a small number before a large number then you have to subtract it so you can see five minus one is four can you can see the rules also that is mentioned then 5 is the letter v itself then for 6 5 plus 1 for 7 it is 5 plus 2 ones and then 8 it is 5 plus 3 ones now 
again we have reached the end of the road we can't repeat the ones again it's repeated thrice so let's see how to write number nine number nine is again we use a similar method like the number four okay so we write number 10 that is x and there is a one before that so we follow the rule three by which you have to subtract one from the 10 and you get the answer 9 and that is a symbol we use for 9. Look at 10 easy we have learned x is the value for x is the roman number for 10. Now in the next table you are having all the roman numerals and hindu arabic numerals for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Take a look at those and if you notice for 4 and 9 there is always a subtraction that is coming but the, all the others are easy and the rest of them are addition. Okay, 4 and 9 always remember. Okay? Let us do some examples look at the screen page number 71 write the Roman numerals for the given Hindu Arabic numerals. So he, here as I mentioned expanded form is very important for you to write answer for Roman numerals as well. 70 plus 5. Let us go back to the table and see what is it for 70? LXX that means 50 plus 10 plus 10. Okay. So keeping that in mind we will write 50 plus 10 plus 10 that is LXX plus 5 that will make 75. Look at the rest of it that is the examples that I mentioned here it will give you a clearer picture how to write the Roman numerals. Now again the next one in page number 71 itself the table let us look at it 46. So the expanded form is 40 plus 6. How do we write 40? In Roman letters XL and it is 6. So look at your table back again. Always remember to keep this both tables as your reference then it is very easy for you to do. So XL, V and I that will be the Roman letters that can be used for 46. Can you try and go ahead and do the exercises down there B to H. Maybe we can do one more example just so that you get it more clearer. Let us do uh, 14 the last one. So the expanded form would be 10 plus 4. So 10 is the x x so we write that and then as you see on the screen you can use the 4 you can see in the table it is 1 and 5. Okay? So it is 10 it is x i and v other Roman letters that can be used for number 14. So in a similar manner try and finish the rest of the exercise. The second activity or exercise we are going to do is write the corresponding Roman numerals. So the numbers are given let us try doing these ones. 78. So the Hindu Arabic numeral given for us is 78. So let us go back to the table which is appearing on your screen right now. And you can see for 70 we use and then this is 70 plus 8 for 8 is okay. So when we see so we when we do the expanded forms it, it makes it very easy. So 70 in the table it says it is this has the value of L has the value of 50 this has the value of 10, this has the value of 10. So this is 70 plus the on the table you will again see 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This has the value of 5, 1 and 1, 3. So this is 8. So 70 plus 8, it is represented like this. 78 is represented Right? It's a little long but that's the way the Roman letters are. Okay, moving on. 
write the hindu arabic numerals for the given roman numeral let's see if we've understood in page number 72 as you can see let's see if we can do this so this has the value of 10 x has the value of another 10 that should be 20 and then this has the value of 5 this has the value of 1 this has the value of 1 so this should be 5 and 2 that is 7 this is 7 so 20 plus 7 is 27 all right we got it so 2x that is 2 tens and then a 7 so see the how the expanded form helped us so when you use the expanded form you will get the answer quickly all right let's move on to the next uh, table you can find roman numerals are given we have to expand and you have to write the arabic numerals so let's see how to do it so the first example is given is okay when you see this what do you think you'll immediately go back to the table the value of l is 50 the value of this is otherwise called as 9 remember so the answer would be 59 50 plus 9 you got the answer 59 do you want to take a look at one more let's see x and c so c is the value is 100 and x is the value of 10 so we have to minus 10 from 100 and you get the answer 90 so for 90 the roman letter we use is x c okay did you get okay so try if you can do this take your notebooks and see if you can do this i think you can because now we know the seven roman letters what are their values and we know the five rules so you can do it let's look at uh, page number 73 read think and solve let's do one there are boys and there are girls in the class three how many students are there so we need to get the roman numerals and we need to get the hindu arabic numerals and then we need to add as well so let's do so one two three that is 30 and 5 so this has 10 value this is 10 value this is 10 value and this has a value of 5 so we do one and you get 35 all right now this one this has a value of 10 this is a value of 50 and this has a value of 1 itself so here x has come before l so this answer is we have to minus 10 from 50 you get the answer 40 and this is 1 41 so there are 35 boys and there are 41 girls in class 3 so now how many students are there so we now we have to go and do our addition so in our addition we can learn that the answer is 5 plus 1 6 3 plus 4 is 7 so 76 now let's see how to represent 76 so let's look at the table once more in the table it tells you how to write 70 and answer okay so this is 70 plus 6 or 70 plus 6 see expanded form 70 is this is the and then 6 so you get a this thing all right let's look at one more example at uh, the c raju had 1 4 and rahul had how much money did they have together so let's find out what these are and then so 
let's see the expanded form. This is 100, this, this has the value of 10, then this has the value of 100 and this is 4. So this is 100 minus 10. Remember the rule 3, when you get a smaller number you have to subtract it from the big one. So this is 90 and this is 4. So this is 94 would be the answer and then remember this is L is having the value of 50, 10, 10 and 5. So 50, 60, 70 and 75. So now we got how much Raju has and how much Rahul has 94 and 75. So now you have to add these both 9. 60. 169. So how do we write 169? That is 100. So 169 is expanded form is 100 plus 60 plus 9. So how do we write 100? C. 60 as you look at the table right now you can see 60 is Okay, and then for 9 it is, did you see how our expanded form really helps in finding the Roman letters? So 100 is C, so we got C plus 60 is 50 and a 10, then plus 9 is represented like this. Okay, so C L X I X, this is for 169. To get the answers. So that brings us to the end of this unit. Look at the page number 73 also and enjoy those um, learn and enjoy activity and you will learn more about Roman letters when you practice it. Remember to write it down in your notebook, try out different numerals and see what is their Roman letter for that corresponding numeral and you will master it at the end of it. So that brings us to the end of this unit 3.